and welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, we're gonna continue implementing our bar application and I'm gonna show you how you can create responsive images and how you can optimize them even more. Go with Sloba. So our task for this tutorial is to make this page a little bit more beautiful. Instead of just displaying text here, we wanna show images and optimize them. Also, I want them to be responsive. So let's open in the components, let's open up the drinks list component here. Instead of having this as a menu, I want to convert this to a grid. So let's remove these classes here. And I want to convert this to a grid with two columns. So let's add a class from Daisy grid. And starting from small screens, we want to make this grid calls two. So we want to make these drinks to take two columns. On the extra small screens or the mobile devices, it's going to take one column. And let's add some gap in between the images. Let's add the six value and let's add some margin on the top as six. When we save this, we should see that we have two columns here. And if we resize our window, we can see that on extra small resolution, we get only one column. The next thing is we want to add images inside of our links. So inside of our link here, let's add a new image component and let's make sure to import the image here from the next image. And the value that we're gonna use for this image is gonna be src and we're gonna use drink dot str drink and thumbnail shortly thumb let's provide the alt attribute as well and it's gonna be drink dot str drink like so and now instead of providing hard-coded value for the width and height what we can do is we can provide a new property which is fill but this means that we need to create a wrapper around our image and this wrapper needs to have a display block as a default, which is div. So we can create this div and place the image inside of this div. The other thing is that this div needs to have a class of relative. And let's add a class name with a relative. And apart from relative class, we need to provide a height or a width to this container. So let's add a height of 60 and width of 60. These are the classes from Tailwind, but if we check, the actual height is 15 rem, which stands for 240 pixels. Also, we can add some separation on the bottom. So let's add margin bottom four. And now if we save this, we should see an image inside of our list like this. If you wanna add a touch up to our images, we can add some class names. So let's add a class. And here I wanna add rounded dash MD so that we have these rounded corners. Also, what we can do is we can add object dash cover. So it covers the entire div that it stands in. Now, if you want to optimize your images even more, if we inspect the images, we can see that inside of the image component in the source set, we have multiple image sources depending on the resolutions here. So what we can do is if we know what is the actual size of the image at a specific resolution, we can provide this value. So this means that if you're on a small device and on a small screen, you're not gonna render very large images. So the name of this property is sizes. And inside of these sizes, we want to provide breakpoints. So the same thing that we are doing inside of the CSS. So what we can do is we can set max width to let's say 768 pixels. And at the maximum of this resolution, we're gonna take 100 viewport widths, but we can add another resolution as well. And let's say on max width, 1200 pixels, we're gonna take 50 viewport widths like this. So this is optimization technique. So if you know that your image is gonna take the less space on a particular resolution, you can provide these values and reduce the size that's gonna get rendered. So if you save this on this actual resolution, you're not gonna notice any changes. But if you go above 768, you're gonna see the difference in the source set. And with this, we have implemented our index bar page. So if you go and if we refresh our index page, we can see that we get almost instant images. This is because all these images are getting cached. So if you click on any of these images and we click back, you can see that there is no loading at all. And that is all for this tutorial. See you in the next one. And if you wanna support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba.
thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.